Back at Wendell, the wall. pack the extra rations. Duff, make sure the quivers are full and the torches are dry. Garrett. What's happening? We're heading north of the wall to deliver justice to brothers turned traitor. They're hiding in the woods. Craster's at a place Keep. called Craster's Keep. Oh, we're going to Craster's. I've been looking for volunteers. The cowards murdered Commander Mormon. We're going to kill every one of them. I'll volunteer to go. I thank you for that. I need every sword I can get. But Brick's going to. He took his vows in the set. He's a brother now. Okay. I understand why you hate him. But bad blood could jeopardize this mission. Too many unknowns out there. I can't have my own men killing each other. I'll go in his place. I'm a better fighter than Brick. You'll want my sword before his. I don't doubt your skill. But I need every sword that's willing to go. Even someone like Brick. If you do come, I need to know there won't be any trouble. Even if he provokes you. Can I count on you? I need your word, Garrett. I'll be taking a chance. The mission can't fail. I understand. What? You won't have any trouble from me. I'll hold you to that. Yeah. It's a hard road to Crestus. We leave tomorrow at first light. Now why don't you go talk to those two? They volunteered as well. Make sure they're ready. Dorf! Where are my arrows? Well, what did Jon Snow say? I don't think he likes us much. Definitely doesn't like you, Finn. He wants us ready for the march tomorrow. Just give the word. I'm tired of being under Frostfinger's boot all the time. You do know we're heading off to fight a band of murderers, right? That's why you bring a ranger. Point is, he doesn't want any problems with you going to Craster's. Well, there's something you should know then. <laughs> I, uh, borrowed this from you. <laughs> what? I just got curious. I wanted to know why your uncle was here. He never Fall ends with you. Didn't mean no harm, honest. I just wanted a quick look. I wasn't stealing. You can't keep doing that, Cotter. Next time, ask. Well, I did try. And you, you just said your uncle was here about Ironwood. But I think it was something else. I noticed this part here. North Grove. That's just some shit story for little kids. A rumor. No, it's not. Of course it is. I had it's a witch's den where they turn children into giants. Garrett, you don't actually take it seriously, do you? It's a fairy tale. For idiots. Everyone knows that. You're wrong, Finn. It's more than a rumor. Lord Forrester found the truth. It's real. And this says it's somewhere in the north. On the other side of the wall. I love a popsicle. And here I thought you might have some brains, Garrett. You two deserve each other. Have fun chasing your tails. Chase my tail. Good. Didn't need him anyway. What do you mean? He doesn't know about the mammoths. Or white walkers. Or how to sneak past a giant. What, and you do? But you know, it's the things you hear about. The rumors is all. Uh, I would have known myself. <laughs> Where'd you hear these rumors? You know, I can't, I can't really remember. I, uh, I hear things around Castle Black. Uh, close People it. Talk. Come on, honey. Close, close the fuck. Close the tab. Not about the North Grove, they don't. Close the tab. If you do, I probably heard you talking about it, or or maybe one of the recruits. Don't make me regret lying about the knife for you, Cotter. Tell me what you know. All right. All right. I've been on the other side of the wall, Garrett. Oh, really? You see, I, I live there. In the north. Oh. I'm part of the three folk. He's a wild. People round here call wildlings. I know, I know, it's crazy. That's great. I, I was with some other free folk. We were looking for weapons, south of the wall. We got caught, so 
So I passed myself off as a local and, well, well they sentenced me here. That is very funny. Whack for stealing. I shouldn't be here. This isn't my place. Are you putting me on, Cotter? I wouldn't joke about that. They'd kill me if they found out. Are we... We still friends? I mean... I know it's a lot to take in. Don't worry. Bloodthirsty wildling or not, we're still brothers. That is good to hear. <laughs> At least when Mance Raider wants to boil you alive, you'll know someone in high places. Cutter! What did I say? That shit house you fixed is still leaking! I'll be right there. I'm going back home. No matter what, Garrett. I've heard stories. Old tales of a secret forest within a forest. Your lord knew what he was talking about. You know where the North Grove is? No, but I'll help you find it. I'm deserting anyway, heading back home. Okay. I can guide you, keep you alive. All right, Stick good. with me and I'll show you the way. Plenty of things out there when I kill you. All right. Even if you are a bloodthirsty wildling. I won't let you down. Cut her! Yeah, now! Love uh, on back the way! Mine. Please, don't tell anyone about me. The watch would kill me if they found out. Yeah, I think we're good. I'm sorry. Marine still smells like shit, even outside the walls. We'll find Croft here, somewhere. You all right? Never better. <laughs> Back under the Mad King, they used to say, death by sword was a sweet kiss. But fire would fuck you hard. Funny. No. No, not very. I'll go find Croft's tent. Could have used another Asher, path, guys. I need you to tell me the truth. I've come a long way to bring you home. Back in that cave, you made a choice. You must have thought only one of us was going to survive. Now, it's not a fair question to ask, but I need to know. There was no time to think. Beska was just closer. You can lie to yourself, Asher. But don't lie to me. I know you too well. Ah. <sighs> Look, I can't blame you if your feelings about me are conflicted. Or your feelings about going home. Your family exiled you to this place. Mm -hmm. But I swore an oath to your mother. Sailed halfway around the world to bring you back safe. Yeah, yeah. I'd be damned if some dragon fire or your foul decisions are going to stop me. Are we clear? I'm here to help you. I understand and I know what's important. My family comes first. That's good to hear. But words are wind, Asher. It's choices that define who we are. Asher, I know where Croft is. Okay then. This Croft. How well do you know him? Too well. I thought you said you were friends. Yeah, we are. We are. Great friends. Yep. Asher fucking Forrester. Son of a poxy whore. You have some balls walking into my tent after all these Aunt years Laura. with that mama's monkey grin on your face. Well, that went well. You get it out your system? Not by half. You never understood consequences, Asher. One stupid mistake cost me an eye. But you never learn. You figured you'd steal from me and I'd just forgive you. <laughs> Not a fucking chance. I, don't, I didn't know that. So how are you going to pay me back? Your eye? Your hand? Or how about your tongue? Cough, no. Be reasonable. I am reasonable. I'm letting him fucking choose. Look, Croft. What we did was wrong. I'm sorry for that. You heard him, now let him go. You're not getting out of this with a fucking apology. Croft, well. I deserve your anger as much as Asher. Don't worry, Beska. 
You're this next. Is stupid. Now choose, or I slice off your balls, Asher. Hey, hey, hey! A man betrays hey. my trust. Fuck you, Croft. Have it your way. You didn't need your stupid, testicles stupid. anyway. <laughs> you asshole. Oh, that was bloody beautiful. Fucking Asher. You were pale as a oh. snow bear's ass. Oh, just fucking with me. <laughs> are, you, are you fucking joking? Ass. You bloody bastard. <laughs> this is why people steal your shit and take off in the night. Come on, you assholes. Have a drink. <laughs> I'm gonna take your other fucking eye. Joden, the Khaleesi's best wine. Your friend has an interesting sense of humor. So what in seven hells are you two doing here on the arse end of the earth, eh? Trying to leave. You're a long way from young guy. We have a proposition for you. Your sword was always the quickest, Croft. I need you and your men to fight for me in Westeros. We need your hellhounds. A hundred good men. Am I in a hobby's tip? Would I ever go back to Westeros? I've got it good right here. Her grace pays good coin. I've got wine, women, I've got my own tent. If you don't join me, my family will die. I'm here because I need you, Croft. Oh, shit. I don't even know your fucking family and you're breaking my heart. All right. I swear by the warrior, I'd help you if I could, but it's not up to me. The second sons are sworn to Daenerys Targaryen. I've laid my sword at her feet. For now. Perhaps we could talk to her. She's a little busy right now, commanding a fucking siege. Her enemies are nailing children up on posts for a hundred miles. Yep. And a bloody dragon's gone missing. <laughs> but I know where to find her dragon. <laughs> Unfucking likely. You expect me to believe you just happened to have seen the one fucking dragon loose in the world? Black scales all over with a red frill running down his back. That doesn't prove anything. Enough of this nonsense. Uncle, show him. Dragonfire did that. So you rolled over into the bloody campfire in your sleep. He wouldn't have bought it. I've seen her dragon. <sighs> oh, bugger me with a bloody spear. If you're lying about this, it'll cost more than your balls. Fair enough. Hmm? Come on, you son of a bitch. The beast's name is Drogon. You'll want to hear about him right away. And don't think you're going to charm her with that fucking Asher grin. Do we get to talk to Danny, actually? No. It's very nice to the dragons. I got a trophy for not hurting the dragons. Go enjoy it before we desert. Big day tomorrow, isn't it? Off to Craster's Keep. Assuming you're not too busy looking for your North Grove. I thought you didn't believe in it. Not saying I do. Do I really have to choose to well, push off the wall? Can you trust Cotter with it? You ask me. There's just something off about him. Aside from him being the only thief on me. Cotter's not a bad sort. I trust him. Even after he tried stealing your map? Do as you like. But if we're going out there tomorrow, in the middle of fucking nowhere, I'd want to know who I can trust. Finn, get back on watch until your relief arrives. They're late. You think Mance Raider is going to wait for them? Right. Asshole. And Tuttle. Yeah. You've got torches that have gone out. Keep them lit. Let the wildlings know we're still home. No, no, no. Uh, Cotter's the wildling. I didn't reveal his secret. The other guy doesn't know. Yeah. Oh god, they're making me light torches. Great.
That's ironwood for sure. Great. If anyone tries coming over the wall, well, those will stop them. Uh. You know what? You're making me do paperwork at the wall? Light. Oh, man could freeze to death up here. To death. Uncle Duncan brought these from Ironrath. Wonder if I'll ever see it again. Uncle Dunk. Solid ice. This won't be melting anytime soon. Well, let me see. Uh, what? I need to light this torch. Oh my god. This is such padding. I don't want to do this, you guys. For fuck's sake. Uh, this must hold up the lift. Let me play. Probably fall apart if it wasn't frozen together. This is such padding, you're pissing me off now. mile wall, and you're still in my way. I figured we'd settle things on the way to Crasters, but this is even better. I don't have any time for you anymore, Brim. I hate you. You hate me. Now let's move on. Had something more painful in mind. Come on, then, bitch. I did duty to my lord back on that bloody farm. But for doing a proper job of it, what I get? Banished to the fucking wall! Never did tell you about your father, did I? Oh boy, he's gonna try to provoke me. We bled him at first, like a pig. Seemed only fair he should feel what it's like. Near the end, he could barely breathe. Kept begging us to leave your sister alone. So I made sure he was still alive when she started screaming. It was the last thing your father ever heard. The more we sliced, the worse it got. You're not worth it. I didn't come here to chat, you fucking cunt! So I have to fight him anyway? Too, Too bad, bad your father you didn't fight like that. I'd still be alive. And I thought you were going to make this easy. Finally getting the hang of it, Tunnel. Stop, dummy! I don't want to fight you! What's the matter? Don't you want to make your father proud? It's gonna make me kill him anyway? <laughs> Let's see if you scream like your sister. Alright. You got lucky, pig farmer. You going to slaughter me. Like my man back at your farm. At least let me have my sword. Keep it interesting. I swore my vows. I won't kill a brother. You're fucking pathetic, Tuttle. Yeah. So, that's kind of... Oh. Kill me anyway, after all that. Come <laughs> on. 
We're done here. Funny. 